honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukah, Kudash. Double honors go out to the other apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, one is Nagarakyam, who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And shall one to the elect uh, through the Spirit. I'm going to go in on uh, Acts 6. It says, And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a great a, a murmuring of Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily administration. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of the Most High and serve tables. <laughs> All right, so dealing with order, right? The twelve, they called the twelve the multitude of the disciples unto them, right? So, you know, this thing of ours, it, it, um, it's always done in order, you know? There's protocols, there's, uh, there's uh, higher-ups, there's elders, you know, in all the camps. So whenever there's a dispute or there's something that needs to be addressed, uh, you're supposed to go in order, you know. And that's kind of been a spirit right now lately on the camps, um, especially with what was going on with, you know, there was a guy who was claiming he was part of GMS, hitting our brothers, and... Uh, and um, you know, taking advantage of brothers that were <coughs> they thought he was in the camp, they thought he was in the GMS because his he had a YouTube channel and it said GMS on it, and he was begging or you know, asking for money. And brothers were giving him money when the dude it turned out he's he's not even a GMS, right? But anyway, there's order, order is important in this ministry of ours, so you know, let me get this real quick. Preset. <laughs> First Corinthians fourteen and forty. It says at the bottom, let all things be done decently and in order. All right. So we always keep order in this thing of ours, man. Order is 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 an important thing. Is an important aspect of this truth. Acts. Go back to Acts six and verse three. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. You see, so they were they were establishing order. Verse four, but we will give ourselves continual pr to prayer, continually to prayer, into the ministry of the word. And saying, and the saying pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith, and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Procurus, and Nicanor, and Timon. And Parmenas and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. All right, and the word proselyte it, it means uh, someone who's converted into the faith, right? Just like we, we were all we were all proselytes when we were in those false doctrines. When we were learning, uh, you know, under the pagan Christianity, some men were Muslims, some men were Catholics, some men were Jehovah's Wickedness. So then we became, you know, followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which that's a, what a proselyte is, somebody who came into the faith. Verse 6. Whom they set before the apostles, and when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them, and the word of the Most High increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. All right. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. 
Then there arose certain of the synagogue, synagogue, which is called the synagogue of Libertines, and the Cyrenians, and the Alexandrians, and of them of Sicilia and of Asia, disputing with Stephen, Stephen. See, so, and that's, that's what happens now. You have, you have all these different denominations, because that's what it's talking about in verse 9. And what do they do? They dispute with the Lord's men, the prophets. They try to argue about the scriptures. They try to, you know, make it sound like we don't know what we're talking about. They try to, but then we just use the spirit, the Bible, to cut them in the spirit. And the Bible's our weapon. Just like with our forefathers and these, these apostles that we're reading about, hey, Stephen, it was no different. Nothing new under the sun. They were able to cut these people who were coming against them and disputing with them with the Holy Scriptures, with the knowledge and the understanding. There's nobody that has the knowledge and the understanding like the brethren, right? Like the 144,000, like the, the, the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. The Spirit, if, if the Spirit's dealing with you, there's nobody that come, can, can come against us in this knowledge and this truth. They can't dispute us. Verse 10. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. It's like they can't resist us and the spirit by which we speak. Because we come right out the book. And they're unlearned. You know, the, the, the Lord Yahweh, he, he, the men that he chooses and he gave in, has given to Yahweh Shai, which are his prophets, you know, there's nobody that can resist this wisdom of ours, this knowledge of ours. Which it's not ours, it's, but Yahweh has given it to us. All right, verse 11. Then they suborned men which said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against the Most High. <laughs> and that's what they do against us too. They, they use, they, tell, they, they, they stir up lies, they tell things that aren't true. They try to, you know, we've had men that were agents come to the camps and try to stir up the people around us, you know, wherever we were at teaching. And saying, oh, these dudes are racist, or these guys are, they hate white people, or they hate, you know what I'm saying? They try to stir things up. And whenever they would do those things through the Spirit, Yahweh would put <laughs> regular civilians um, on their ass instead. You know, the, the people would come against them. It was a trip. But that's the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. You know, we had, we had <laughs> just random strangers physically want to defend, defend us when these men were coming against us, right? And that's all, everything's of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, so, you know, you can't come against this truth, man. Verse 12, And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes and came upon him and caught him and brought him to the council and set up false witnesses which said, This man ceaseth not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that Yahweh Shai of Nazareth shall destroy this place and shall change the customs of which Moses delivered us. <coughs> and we're coming in the same spirit as, as Stephen, because guess what? We're telling him that the Most High is going to destroy this place, Babylon, America. So again, nothing new under the sun, man. There's nothing new under the sun, man. We're, we're doing the same thing, the... the the apostles were doing in the book of Acts. Uh, you know, I've heard the uh, the elders and the brothers say it, you know, that this is all like the Acts coming. We're, we're basically living in Acts all over again. 